The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? CLICKWID here, back again with another Madden 18 video. Guys, today what I'm going to be showing you is an easy pass play for you to be able to pick up pretty much huge yardage almost every single time in Madden 18. Basically, guys, this is going to be used primarily for solo challenges. I know a lot of people struggle to move the ball, especially in the more difficult ones. And obviously, in the beginning, most people are not really struggling that much because we have, for the most part, easy difficulty solo challenges. But today, this video is going to show you how to beat up some of those more difficult solo challenges against better defenses and against more higher difficulty levels as well. So, first thing, guys, is we're going to hop into the actual playbook. This is coming out of the Chargers playbook. There might be other playbooks that have this, but we want the wing stack. It's the first one. And then we're going to look for PA curl post. So A on Xbox should be X on PlayStation 4. And basically, guys, we're going to select that play. We're going to pick any random defense. And just to let you know, this is on all Madden difficulty. I want to point that out before we even get into the video. It's also against the Denver Broncos defense. So you guys know the Denver Broncos have probably the best secondary in the game. They also have a really good pass rush. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and take B and we're going to put him on a block and then we're going to take Y and put him on a streak and what that's going to basically do is open up the underneath for X to get wide open almost every single time. Obviously this is on, on PlayStation. It's going to be square but you're going to look basically to that read almost every single time. Again we're going to put circle or in this case on Xbox B onto a block and then we're going to look to find X. Now unfortunately he dropped the pass there but that should have been a catch. And right here, because we have uh, random defense, they're going to pretty much let us score for the most part if they don't get the, the blitz in on us, and they won't here. Uh, so this is pretty much going to be a big gain or a touchdown almost every single time. Right here, we do get into the end zone there with Mike Williams, the rookie. But... Again, guys, this is a very simple setup. All we're going to do is put B on a block. We don't even necessarily have to do that. I just like to do it because it gives you additional blocking. But he's not even really going to be important on the play. And again, we're going to look for X over the middle here. He should pretty much be there almost every single time. Right there, they stepped in front of it. But uh, I was a little bit late on my pass delivery that time. But again, for the most part, once you set this play up, it should work for the most part just about every single time, you're going to find X coming over the middle. Sometimes you do have to wait a little bit on the zones. But other than that, it's pretty much going to be there. Phillip Rivers throwing a terrible pass there. I don't know what the hell that was. But uh, for the most part, again, he's pretty much going to come over the top of a yellow zone. And he's going to come underneath the blue zone. One of the big reasons for that is because you're sending Y on a streak. So he's pulling those safeties back. And then you still have your tight end coming underneath him, which set things sets things up really beautifully over the middle for that X wide receiver. So let's go in and actually take a look at it in the instant replay because I think that this will give us a better idea of exactly what's going on here. Defensively, again, they're pretty much going to fall back into their zones, right? And what, again, we're looking for the X wide receiver, that outside guy on the PlayStation 4. It's going to be square. Uh, and again, you're dropping back into your route and you see the safeties and the linebackers getting pulled back and then they follow that tight end going over the middle, which leaves that guy wide open over the middle. So that's a really, really nice route because it actually gets it's delayed. So if you go back and watch it from the beginning once again here, and we'll rewind it again, watch the way that the safeties get pulled back. And then that tight end is going to come over the middle and both those linebackers and the corner follow him, which leaves that middle wide open. The only time that this is not wide open is if they drop a yellow zone directly into the middle. But even then you just wait on it and eventually it gets open. And one of the reasons that this actually gets a little bit more open is because you see there that route is actually delayed, which allows the tight ends route to still pull those guys over. Because if it wasn't delayed, that tight end route is actually not going to pull those linebackers at the same time. So it it really doesn't work quite as efficiently as like uh, it would. If it was like a normal post route, for example, it's not going to work as well as this delayed one. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Guys, I will be bringing you guys more Madden 18 Ultimate Team content as well as some plays that will help you out. I'm going to try and find some running plays that are particularly effective this year as well. So stop on back for that. Thanks to Victionary HD for originally finding this play. I did modify it a little bit, but he said that I should upload it. So thanks again to him. Thanks to you all, and I will talk to you guys again soon.